Yo, what's up guys? I'm going to be doing a short little tutorial today on how to set up your mods in League. This is going to be like actually importing them, where to get them, how to set up profiles if you want to do kind of a more of an advanced thing. Uh, everything's going to be timestamped down below, so if you want to just like skip to the next section, that's completely fine. Any links that you need are also going to be down there, so let me know if you guys have any questions, any concerns, anything you guys have like troubles with, just drop that below and I can help you out. But otherwise, enjoy the video and happy holidays everybody. All right, so the first thing you want to do is hop over to RuneForge and there's going to be a whole list to choose from. You can just head over to the mod section. And from here, you're going to have all of the newest posts will be here, but you can sort by skins, maps, whatever you guys want. Now, I will say this website does get pretty bogged down. They're working on an upgrade to it right now, but if you have like issues, refresh and usually it goes away. But say specifically you want to go to maps, you can come here, grab one. I've already chosen two that I'm going to be downloading. So... This one specifically is the one that came out uh, just today that I'm interested in. And this one's kind of just a meme one that I want to download. So the first thing you want to do is pick out your mod and head down to the bottom. And you should see a install link. Uh, this one's actually at the top. Usually they're at the bottom though. Uh, this one will be at the bottom, but find the download link. And it'll usually t take you over to like a Google Drive or a Mediafire. And that'll download for you and do that on both or however many wants you want to get. If you get a Google Drive one like this, don't worry about downloading this, just download the whole file. And then that should be both of them for you to make it quite easier. This one popped up with an ad, but um, just to close out of everything you don't need there, and then you'll have those two downloaded. Now to actually put the mods in, you'll need a thing called CS Low Manager, which is a link in the description for this. And then right here at the top, you'll find the download and you'll just click on that and it'll take you to the GitHub. And this is where you can just like select the version that you need. I usually just download the Windows.exe and then you should be good to go. Once you have everything downloaded, go ahead, extract and run the low manager and you'll get a screen like this. Yours will probably be blank, but that's completely fine. I've already got some mods loaded up in here. So first thing you want to do is go into the settings, hit the cog up there. You can pick a theme if you want, but I'd go ahead and do enable updates. That just always keeps things up to date. Make sure it doesn't crash or anything like that. And that'll avoid most of your issues. Make sure that automatically detect game path is already checked and you can just blacklist extra game mods. I like to keep that one on as well. I don't like to keep suppress internal conflicts on just cause I'd like to know when there's an issue or if a mod's crashing, I can usually see which one it is by whatever the error code is. So to actually import the mods, you're gonna go down to the bottom right, click import new mod, and then you can pick those mods that you downloaded. Uh, it's a Phantomy file, so we're gonna be uploading two here. So we're gonna be uploading the Ring City Knight, and we'll go ahead and upload the Malphite as well. Now, once you start to see them in there, you can click both of them and you'll have them enabled. Now, what this basically means is out of this entire list, you're only gonna have these two. So if I only wanted one, I would uncheck the other one and keep this one here. Or vice versa, keep this one on and this one off. Now, they're actually not running at the time. We have them to be enabled, but it's not currently running. So to actually do that, we need to have whatever we want enabled and we have to be able to press start. So for this to work, it's gonna be this here it's going to write to the client and it's going to give you the status message of waiting for a league match to start now from here you're able to open your league and just start a normal league game and they'll be in and that's how to actually download and install the mods for this next section we're going to go into something a little bit more detailed called profiles now that's what this button up here in the top left is for um, the way i like to do profiles and the way i explain them is I like to do them by characters. So they are essentially a set order of mods that you want enabled per character. So for example, when I go to the R character and I load those, it's gonna have my RE skin and the winner skin that I want. However, I go back to the default and load them, it'll be just these two, which I showed in the previous tutorial. Now to set one up, we're gonna set up a new one here called top lane. So click that little plus button, it creates a profile and we're gonna do one called top lane and then hit OK. Now this makes a brand new profile in our list and essentially is setting what mods we want enabled for that product. So when 
right before we're in the game say if we want to switch a profile because we get filled top we don't have to worry about trying to click all the mods that we want to do so for this one specifically on top lane we're going to want the malphite skin we'll do the pantheon skin and let's say we want the winter skin as well so now that we have those three selected you can come up to the top right and click this one here which is going to save the mods for the selected for the profile and you hit that save it's going to write basically what you want in there and now you have this one saved for top lane specifically now whenever you go over to another one it'll still have them checked so you'll have to click this right one which is the load enabled mods for the select profile so for the re one if we load those mods it's going to pick the bottom two we go to the top lane one you have to make sure to hit load and then it'll load up all the things you want in there so say we want to actually add one to this plugin we hit the unreal tournament voiceover mod and we can hit save and it'll update it with four mods instead of the three so now when we go back to the re one load up still have the two go back to top lane load and it'll have the four now whenever we want to play we just go ahead and hit up here and it'll start the uh, hook injection into the actual league client so that's a basic rundown of profiles uh, i'd only really use them if you have a large amount of mods or if you want just easier customization, if you're worried about like pre-setup in the pre-lobby, this is the easiest way to do it. So. And that should be everything you need to set up mods. If you guys have any questions or problems, let me know down below. I hope this all works out for you. If you guys find any good mods, make sure to drop them down so I can see them. And I hope you guys have a great day.